On today's show, the biggest transfer rumours involving hashtag Wenger in, Willian, Alderweireld, big stories on VAR, Neymar injury controversy, Chelsea called anti-football, the sad news about Davide Astori's death, plus all the biggest football stories, all today on One Football Daily. First up, the quick-fire transfer rumours and paper talk. Everton want Arsene Wenger to be their next manager. Henri has said he would always say yes if Arsene replaced Wenger. Spurs want Bayer Leverkusen defender Jonathan Tarr as a replacement for Toby or the rear world. PSG say they won't sell Neymar in the summer. Willian says he wants to stay at Chelsea. And all of the top four sides are interested in Fulham's starlet 17-year-old Ryan Sessegnon. Before we get to the big stories of the day, here's a quick roundup of the other top stories. VAR will be used at the World Cup, Manchester United midfielder McTominay decided to play for Scotland instead of England, and Messi scored his 600th professional goal during Barcelona's win over Atletico Madrid. The biggest stories of the day are, it has been claimed that the Brazilian doctors exaggerated the extent of Neymar's injury so that he could have an operation and get some rest instead of potentially becoming more injured whilst playing for PSG. PSG aren't going to be happy with the Brazilians. Mourinho has claimed that Marcus Rashford will still make it into the England's World Cup squad despite his lack of starts for United. With the arrival of Alexis Sanchez, Rashford has not started for United since December. The pressure is back on Antonio Conte as his side lost 1-0 against Manchester City. The difference uh, between uh, them and us in this moment, 25 points. Uh-huh. It was the manner over which the defeat came which made people question whether Conte is still the right man to lead Chelsea. Their performance was described as a crime against football, i.e. anti-football because it was so defensive minded. I think Conte just didn't want the 3-0 whooping that Arsenal received against City. Speaking about Arsenal, things have gone from bad to ridiculous for Arsenal as they lost 2-1 to Brighton. When you struggle confidence, uh, uh, it's more it's difficult as well when you have just uh, the trousers on, it's, diff- it's easy to take them trousers off as well, but when you're naked completely, I think you have to find the shirt and put it, try to put it on again and uh, that you're dressed normally again. So, uh... Wenger's admitted that top four is impossible for Arsenal and the Europa League is their main priority. We predicted that Arsenal would actually lose 2-1 along with seven out of nine other correct predictions on our Friday Instagram show. Next prediction, Arsenal will draw against AC Milan and probably lose anyway. The football world was shocked to hear about the unexpected death of 31-year-old Fiorentina captain and Italy defender Davide Astori. Diciamo che Davide prima come calciatore ma come uomo penso sia un esempio per tutti perché è sempre stato solare, un ragazzo eccezionale. È una perdita veramente cioè non ci sono parole. A story dies suddenly in his sleep. It's believed that he had a heart attack. Social media has been filled with teams and players responding to the sad news. All the games in Italy were postponed as a sign of mourning. We at One Football also want to offer our condolences and well wishes to Astori's family and friends. With that said, I've been Anton Allen. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow.